established in 1862. Cooper's beers have been perfected over generations. To celebrate our 160th anniversary, I'm visiting some of Australia's oldest and most successful family businesses to meet the next generation entrusted with carrying their traditions and values into the 21st century. Today, my guest is Emma Brown from Brown Brothers Wine Group. I'm Andrew Cooper and this is Aussie Originals. having me here. Really excited to be at Brown Brothers. It's such a pleasure to have you in beautiful North East Victoria, Andrew. So tell me a bit about Brown Brothers, your family business and story. When did it begin? So we're actually sitting here in our family barn. And so this was actually built back about 135 years ago um, by my great grandfather, um, John Francis Brown, who started making the first wine here. But John Francis planted the first 10 acres of grape vines, but he had mixed farming. But it was really kind of through his generation that he started making wine here in, in the barn. What about with Coopers? You'd know uh, the generational story all too well. Uh, we're celebrating 160 years this year. Wow. Um, we are a sixth generation family business. So our story started uh, in 1852. Uh, Thomas Cooper, our founder, emigrated from Skipton, uh, Yorkshire, England, uh, down to South Australia, which was a, a new colony. Built his own, own home, bought some cows, and became a dairyman for a period of time. It was in 1862 that um, we say our story began. He worked out beer was way more fun. He did. <laughs> so tell me a bit about your journey uh, entering the family business and, and in the family business. So I joined um, the family business about three years ago. But honestly, when you, when you come back to a family business or if you started a family business, as you would know, people say welcome back. They don't say welcome because they know that you've either pulled beers in, a, in the cellar door or you've been filling up cheese and olive bowls your whole life, working festivals, but um, officially joined three years ago. But um, that's after kind of doing my time and we kind of talk about as a family business that um, we actually have a rule that we have to go out and, and after a relevant degree, work in the big wide world um, for five years. Um, my dad actually says, go and stuff up someone else's business before That's exactly coming back what my to dad business. Says. <laughs> <laughs> you come back with a lot of pressure, as you would know. A lot of pressure of 160 years or 133 years of, oh, I've got to keep this going. Like, mm. I don't want to be the, the generation that, that stuffs, that it stuffs up. this up. <laughs> So I have to ask the question, how do you go as sisters working together? Is it always harmonious? We love it, I'd have to say. I love every bit of it. We all have our different strengths. We all have our different weaknesses. And we, because we know each other so well, we can pick up on that. And there's no one that will give you the brutal, honest truth as much as your sister. So it really keep, kind of keeps you in your place and makes sure that you're on the straight and narrow every day. And everybody gets along perfectly down in the cellar when they've got a glass of wine in hand. Oh, once a bottle, so yeah, once a bottle's <laughs> open, everyone's makes, friends again. Makes everything better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've heard um, also Cooper's is the the beer of winemakers. It's been very much known as they the say beer. they say sparkling ale is the winemakers beer. Cooper sparkling ale is effectively Thomas's first ever beer. So so this one here is about 160 years old, not this one. Um, effectively, Thomas's first beer has evolved into the modern day Cooper's sparkling ale. Um, so it's nice to hear that winemakers still appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely, yeah. refined palates. But yeah. cheers. cheers. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for us having me. Cheers to 160 years and 133 for you. 133. Cheers.